Hey guys, Nightcore came out with a new keychain flashlight. This is it. It's the new T4K. 4,000 lumens, 10,900 candela, packed in this little tiny flashlight with a super cool LED display telling you everything that's going on. You need to see this. Stay tuned. Check this guy out. We have four Cree XP L2 V6 LEDs up front. We have a 1000 milliamp hour battery connected in here. We have a belt clip. We have a removable keychain holder on the side. We have our LED screen up here. Two buttons for different modes and power. USB-C charging in the back. When we turn this guy on, our LED screen lights up tells us everything what's going on, what mode we're in, how much time we have left on the battery, and it is intelligent. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, it will turn back on in the same mode. We have our mode button up here, which takes us to different levels. We're on low, 15 lumens, 65 lumens, 200 lumens. Now this is basically its high mode. So you have your timer set here that's gonna turn this light off but if we want to go to turbo, we push and hold 4,000 lumens, check that out. But we also have our countdown meter as to how long that's going to stay on turbo. And no, it doesn't stay on turbo super long and it's off turbo back down to its high mode. It gives us the time that we have left with that. Very, very cool. If we turn it off, and we push and hold the button, it goes into a lockout mode. So when I push this power button again, I have to push and hold. And I've messed this up a couple times. It's in lockout mode. To push and hold to get it to turn out of lockout mode. There we go. And it's back in. So if you didn't want this to have anything happen like that, there's two lockout modes. One you have to push longer. Now when you're in this, if you push and hold the two buttons, it'll go to a demo mode. That means this will not work any longer than 30 seconds and it'll turn itself off. So that's also another way of saving the battery. Push and hold again, it'll go to a daily use mode and now it will run full time of the battery. Let's pull back and show this thing in use. Basically, as a keychain flashlight, even at one lumen here, it's not super bright, but it's great for reading, great for use in the car. If we bump this guy up to its 15 lumen setting, you can start to see we can see around, not crazy bright, but again, just a generally nice setting for someone to look for something, then it's not too bright. We go up again, we get into the 65 lumen setting, which very nice, again, keychain flashlight. I gotta keep remembering that I'm looking at something that's this small. Here's 200 lumens, which for most of us is going to be, I mean, this is outdoors walking stuff here. I mean, you look at the intensity of the light. I'm gonna walk over and pick up this Nightcore P20i. This is 1800 lumens, but it is 30,000 candela. I'm going to drop currently the T4K into its 4,000 lumens right there. Look at that. Look at the amount of light that we can put out, complete, and light everything up. But that was as long as it's going to last. Now, there's been no charge in here or anything. And if we wanted to go to turbo again afterwards, I can do that, kick it back up. That's going to take the battery down again, and it's only going to allow me to do this, you know, for its amount of time. And there it is, off. We're in the 200 lumen mode, and it says I have, you know, what is it, one hour and 51 minutes left to go on this mode. But if I just drop this flashlight off, check that out. Totally different as a spot. This is turbo, so this is 30,000 candela, 1,800 lumens but again, more of a spot. I just wanted to give you a comparison in size, what you have, and great light here, but totally different light as far as a spot. We go back onto our small keychain flashlight. This is perfect for indoors, and if you need it for short periods outdoors, kick it on turbo, and this dude just rocks it. 
I absolutely love the LED function that we have here so we can see exactly what's going on. All right, here's my take. I absolutely love this, and I do for multiple reasons. The first is the amount of data that I get as feedback from the unit. This LED screen is priceless, absolutely priceless. I know what lumen level I'm in. I know what I can bump up to. I know how long it will run in that situation. So I have full feedback in real time as to what's happening. The amount of light that comes out of this at 200 lumens, and I don't know if the camera is picking it up as well as what I would need, is probably all I would expect out of this max as a keychain flashlight. But the fact that I can bump this up to turbo multiple times in a row without having an issue, even though it's timed, it's great. It's awesome. It gives me everything that I need for certain situations. And usability here with the two buttons and the modes is super easy. One thing to me that I'm not 100% used to yet is the lockouts. I'm sure I'll get there at some point, but right now that lockout mode and getting back causes me to try to push the button to get the lock to show and then push and hold the button long enough to turn the lock off. And I don't seem to get that push and hold at the right point just yet, but I'm working on just trying to get to, to know this light a little bit more. I love the belt clip. The fact that I can just push a button, remove my keychain clip, there's very little left on this light, and I can put it on my belt, carry it around if I wanted to, use it all day, do whatever, or simply push this back in, have a keychain. As a keychain light, for me, if this was a full swivel, I think it would be a little bit better. It is not a full swivel. Other than that, this thing is probably become one of my more favorite flashlights just because of its size and the amount of light that it puts out and the fact that i am got a little screen on here that's telling me everything that's going on inside. I love that. I absolutely dig it. This thing will take um, water if you're going to put it in up to about one meter. It's going to take a drop without issue. They're saying a meter and a half either way. I absolutely dig that we have a memorization thing. So I like the 65 lumen level. I can turn it on, turn it off. It will always come back on that. And if I'm there, I can always just push and get my turbo and it'll go back to whatever I was on before. Super cool, super, super cool to me anyway. I'm always curious what you guys think. So please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think of this thing, what you'd use it for. If you haven't already, please give us a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.